EA Sports brings you a special edition of the National Football League for this Halloween matchup. It's the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Washington Commanders. All that and more coming up next. Let's go now, let's go. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to the outskirts of the nation's capital. It's Northwest Stadium in Landover, the home of the Commanders. Thanks for having us in, Mike Tirico, Greg Olson. Greg, this is one that the defensive coordinators have had a long week because these quarterbacks, you can prepare and prepare for them, but because of their legs, you never know what they're going to do. Yeah, when the play breaks down, I think that's where the real fun begins. I mean, it is just so hard. You mentioned it. These defensive coordinators, they spend all week, and every time the ball is snapped, you really have to defend two plays. And what I mean is you defend the initial play that is called by the offense in the huddle, and then you also have to defend the scramble play, the breakdown, the improv. That's what makes these quarterbacks so dangerous, and it just takes one breakdown defensively for a big play, and it's six. Austin Eckler now to return. And he's brought down right at the 25-yard line. The Commanders come out with the man they hope leads them into their new era. Jaden Daniels, the number two overall pick in this past draft from LSU. Greg, this is the man who won the Heisman Trophy with the Tigers in Baton Rouge a year ago. Here we have a guy, Mike, who's probably one of the most dynamic athletes that we have in the entire NFL at the quarterback position. He can create so many problems for a defense with his legs, but make no mistake about it. He is far from one-dimensional. He's both willing and able to carve a defense up with his arm while using his legs as more of a secondary weapon. If there's one knock on his game at this very moment, it's the fact that occasionally he'll kind of lay one up from time to time. Nonetheless, if he's on his A game in this one, we could be in for a real treat. 13 yards to start that drive and a quick first down. From the shotgun, it's Daniel. The pass rush gets home, and he goes down. The best thing they did here, Mike, is keep their rush lane integrity. What that means is you have to rush the quarterback as a unit. Keep him in the pocket. Keep him on that X. And when you do, man, he becomes a sit and duck for this pass rush. So after the loss on first... Here's second and 14. Yet another Alabama back in the league. This is Brian Robinson. And he nearly got free. But as it is, gain of six, and it sets up third down. to throw is Daniels. Now a screen going to be set up for Robinson. And he is very close to the first down, but an uh, eyeball, he is shy of it. And they say it's fourth and inches. The initial reaction is, how does this quarterback not throw the ball past the first down line to gain to try to extend this drive? And the reality is, because they've already decided they're going to go for it on fourth down. And this one's going to land out of bounds as they'll mark it inside the 20. The Steelers led out by their quarterback, Russell Wilson. Still strange to not see him in a Seattle uniform where he was for a decade, a couple of years with the Broncos. And now, Greg, the nine-time Pro Bowler, year one in Pittsburgh. I had a coach tell me earlier in my career, Mike, specifically about the quarterback position. If you don't have fast feet, you better have a fast mind. And... Here we have a guy that has played a lot of games under center. He has seen a lot of football, and while he might not be as mobile, he might not have the arm strength to make all the throws he had earlier in his career, that experience behind center, that experience being in these moments before, man, having that quick mind, there's not a whole lot of defense is going to throw at him that he hasn't seen. That's a gain of 19 and a very quick first down. This is clinic tape for any young wide receiver out there watching this guy run routes. 
He has the defender thinking everything is a go ball. Attack him vertically, and then when you get to your route depth, you stick that foot in the ground, you break in, balls on time, results in a nice first down pickup. No chance at all. He'll go down. The offense goes from feeling really good about the previous play with a real nice pickup to then on the ensuing play, ending up going the complete opposite direction. Really nice job here by the defense immediately getting back on track. And what do the coaches say? Just play the next play, and that's exactly what they did. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. Out of the gun, it's Wilson. Now he'll run. A big-time play for Pittsburgh. 32 yards. You know this defense worked all week defending this quarterback as a scrambler, as a runner. But sometimes it's just hard to simulate until you see him in real life, his speed, his ability to create. We saw him get him here early on the big scramble. He's able to pick up the first down and keep the drive alive. And a good job following his blockers. A gain of seven. It'll be second down. First carry for the Alabama product, Najee Harris. And he'll get forward for about a yard. Frankie Louvu there to make the play defensively. Third down, three to go. We'll try to run for it with Harris. And that call will not get it done. The defense ready, stopping him behind the line of scrimmage. And it sets up fourth down. This is one of those down and distances where the offense really could either run or pass. But give credit to the defense. They sold out to stop the run. And boy, were they right. They take them down for a loss. Now on fourth down, the veteran Chris Boswell on for the Steelers. This is going to be a 51-yard attempt. Boswell's kick is good and the Steelers are out to an early 3-0 lead and I think this is going to end up being considered a successful drive Mike I think obviously you would have loved to see them come down and convert and score a touchdown but at the very least they needed to come away with three they were able to do that and take a lead on that field goal So 3-0 our score, and we are set for the dynamic kickoff. Here's Eckler on the return. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. But Commander's offense ready to possess the football for the second time. This one has been tight so far. A field goal separating the two sides as this drive kicks off with first and ten. But you think back to their first possession of this game, Mike, it resulted in a punt. Not exactly the fast start the coaches told us was so important as this game unfolds. They get the ball back for possession, too. Now they try to find some rhythm, find their identity of the game plan, and they come away with six. So that's how you bounce back in this league. It's not always going to be perfect. Really nice job settling into this game here with their second possession.
Seibert now following the touchdown. He's out to kick it away. On the return, here comes court Daryl Patterson. And a solid run back there. He'll get this out past the 30-yard line. The Steelers' offense ready to see what they can do on their second possession. They trail by four. A touchdown gives them the lead. Drive begins with first and ten. He'll start this on the ground, and it's Harris. And he's going to be brought down up past the 45. And a nice pickup there by the back with an explosive run play. And it's important to point out, Mike, this offensive play caller, he's still working off that opening script. It doesn't necessarily have to just be the first possession. Using formations, using run game and pass. Unmask the defense and understand where to take the play calling as the game unfolds. That's the former Ram and Falcon, Van Jefferson. And he's taken down on what should be the final play of this first quarter. We are through one. 7-3 is our score. More after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. From the 39, here's a first and 10. They send Frymuth, the tight end, in motion. They run it over center with Harris. And he's brought down after a gain of a couple. Second down and eight. Play action. Now Wilson. And he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. Pat Fryermuth, the intended receiver. And third down coming up. Timing and trust. Critical elements of this quick passing game. If your target and the quarterback are not on the same page... It winds up being an incompletion and a wasted down. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. So defensively, there's always the initial pass coverage plan. And then when that breaks down and the quarterback goes into scramble mode, how fast can you then move on to the second phase and what they call plaster, meaning find the nearest receiver and almost play a man-to-man. -man. And it's exactly what they did here. And... There was nowhere for the ball to go, and he's forced to just throw it away. And I can tell you firsthand, Mike, when you find yourself trailing in a game, you don't feel very good about coming away with field goals. But in this case, it does get them a little bit closer and cut into this deficit. Back out is Boswell following the field goal. He'll send this one away. On the return, Noah Igbenogany. Oh, he's got room past the 30. Here comes the Washington offense now. They get set to take over. Their lead is just a point as they begin it on this drive with first and ten. Operating from the gun, it's Daniels. It'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. The receiver thought he had a nice soft spot in that zone coverage, and he settles down to give a nice target to the quarterback. But the defense had eyes on him the entire time. Secure rally tackle prevents that from turning into a big play. On second down, it's Daniels. 
That'll be caught by the running back, Robinson. They'll get maybe three out of that one, and it's going to set up third down. Defensive coordinators preach all the time, play pass defense with vision. It's exactly the case here. They're able to rally to the ball, keep that to a short game. Here's a third down and four. From the shotgun on third down, Daniel. So the hope is your one-third down conversion from really jump-starting a possession that ultimately leads in points. But after that third down incompletion, kind of throws a wrench into those plans. Here's Tress Way now. He's on for the second time. He'll try to get something inside the 10. Oh, but he cannot get away. Great job down there to hold him to a short return. Here comes the Pittsburgh offense now, heading back onto the field. The deficit is one, as they'll search now for that go-ahead score. This drive starts at the 21. It's first and 10. Out of the gun, here's Russ. A throw on the run is complete. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. Those are the explosive pass plays that this team is going to continue to mine all day. And you can see pre-snap, the quarterback loved his matchup. He allowed his receiver to work downfield. Perfect throw, and now sets them up to try to see if they can finish this drive off with some points. Here's first and ten. They go play action with Wilson. And good work there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. You just can't say enough about how hard it is to play cornerback in today's modern NFL, Mike. I mean, not only are these wide receivers better than ever, but the way the rules are written... You're really out there on an island with not a lot of options. Your technique has to be perfect. Your timing has to be perfect. It's exactly what we saw here, and he makes a great play on the ball. They'll get maybe three out of that one, and it's going to set up third down. So they have these rules for the receivers, Mike. They call them green grass rules, and the idea is if you're running across the field and you're looking at the quarterback, you're going to stay on the run. If you're not looking at the quarterback, that tells him, I'm going to sit in this soft zone. I'm going to what they call punch and pivot and stop. And that tells the quarterback to put the ball on your chest. That nonverbal communication between the receiver and the quarterback recognizing when you're open, stay open, that's the stuff that makes a lot of these offenses so difficult. Now Dan Quinn wants a second opinion here, and he has thrown the challenge flag. At issue, was he able to stay in bounds? The NFL rules, you're looking for either two feet or a body part that is not a hand to be down with possession of the ball. No bobbling, the ball not moving around. He has control. So that's what the referee is looking at here. So the challenge is unsuccessful, and he's going to have to be careful here because he has just one challenge for the remainder of the game. Uh -oh. On the handoff, here's Harris running right. He'll be taken down after a gain of two. They'll come up on a second down and eight. Another run here with Harris. He'll push forward here down to about the 27. Frankie Louvu there to make the play defensively. Have to get this to the 20. Here's third down. And 
some problems communicating on third down, and that's going to be a delay. So, after the five yards are walked off, they face third and long. From the shotgun, Wilson. He manages to get the throw away and completes it. That's his third catch of this first half and good enough for a first down. This is what every offense looks to do, Mike. They want to attack the middle of the field. That's the most valuable real estate in football. And oftentimes, that's where the chunk plays come. Give it to your receiver on the move and let them do the rest. So they move inside the 20, first and 10 at the 18. Give up the middle to Harris. And he's going to be taken down as we hit the two-minute warning here in this first half. Here's second and six. From the gun, it's Wilson. And he's going to slide down with the first down inside the five. Ten yards to pick up there, and that'll get him a new set of downs. This has been a great drive, and mostly at the hands of the man with the ball there. He thought about pulling the trigger on that one, thought better of it, decides to take off with his legs, and now he's going to have first and goal. That's to the end zone, but they can't connect. It's incomplete. It's hard to play that ball any better than the way that defender did right there. I mean, to stay patient throughout the entire play and make sure that not only are you in prime position to make it, but then once the ball is there, attack it, knock it down, and save a touchdown. Wilson. That's going to be intercepted in the end zone. Picked off by the former Wolverine, the rookie from Michigan. So much of that play comes down to the defender's position. Being able to get himself to a spot to get his hands on the ball and a chance at that pick. Mike, when that ball was thrown, me and you are sitting here saying, that's a touchdown, and instead, they force a turnover, and now their offense is back on the field. The commander's offense ready to see what they can do with this next possession. They'll start it here with a first and ten. Working out of the gun, it's Daniels. Uh, first down throw there is incomplete. So as halftime looms, Mike, they have to find a way to capitalize on this drive right here and make sure they end the half with some sort of points. Now, that incompletion, not ideal, but at the very least, it stops the clock. Catch your breath, get back in the huddle, and this next play, it's got to be a gotta-have-it best play call. And nice work there after the catch. He's a little short of the first down after a gain of seven. The drag route is certainly not the most complicated route on the route tree, but a really nice job there using the scheme to create separation. He did a really nice job there working across the middle of the field as he made himself open. Third and short, and it's Daniels. That's over the middle, complete to Brown. Now a timeout here by Washington. That is their second. Clock says 25 seconds till halftime. Line of scrimmage is the 37-yard line for first and 10. Keep it in the air. Here's Daniels. Oh, and a short throw there, but it's going to end up incomplete. That's a pass he say he should have had. Instead, he does not, and it brings up second down. 
a rare miss for a quarterback that we've seen really come out on fire throughout this entire contest. I mean, his completion percentage, Mike, is well above league average, and frankly, it's really the biggest reason why they find themselves out in front. He'll swing this one out wide to his running back. He'll get about six before he's taken down. Here's a third down and four. To the air again is Daniels. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. You can't fault the quarterback on this one, Mike. He really didn't even have much of an opportunity. By the time he hit the top of his drop and got his eyes downfield, the defense was all over him, and he really had no choice but to just get that ball out of his hand and live to play another snap. Mm-hmm. And that is good coverage by the punt team as they meet him and bring him down. So first and 10 now, they'll start from the 22. And they'll let that to run another play. Instead, just take a knee and take this on into the locker room. So we've hit halftime here in the home team. The Commanders are out on top as we get you down to Florida, Orlando specifically. It's where the coach is, Jonathan Coachman, has our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Michael, thanks very much as we welcome you into our downtown Orlando studios and the EA Sports halftime report. What a treat to watch the rookie in that first half. The number two overall pick, Jaden Daniels. He has a touchdown pass, and that amounted to the only touchdown of the game for either team thus far. Coach, thank you. Both teams trying to find the right formula to come out on top in this second half. Coming up. Both teams ready to get back at it as we get back underway here on EA Sports. From the six, here comes a return. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The Steelers' offense going to have a first crack at it as we begin this third quarter. They'll begin with first and ten. Wilson to throw. That'll be caught by the running back, Warren. Recognizing the blitz is just the first step in the process for a quarterback understanding who you can account for with the protection and then who you can't account for. That's where your hot receiver comes in. He points to his receiver who the defender they're hot off of. That guy comes, gets the ball out of his hand, and results in a completion. Now it's Wilson. Pass over the middle, but it's incomplete. I think the biggest issue and why they find themselves trailing in this game, Mike, has really just been the ups and downs of this passing game. And sometimes he's highly accurate and efficient, but at others, he just misses too many easy throws. The question is, are they going to be able to overcome this quarterback inconsistency and pull this game out? Quick throw on target to Pickens. One of the easiest ways to negate these really good pass rushes in the NFL, Mike, is just to simply get the ball out of the quarterback's hand as fast as possible. And sometimes it's by design. Sometimes it's based on need. But really nice job there by the quarterback. Get into the hands of his receiver and then see what he can do after the catch. And that one is closed down in the backfield. What a defensive play. Knifing in, dropping him for the loss. 
Great job by that linebacker timing his blitz. He didn't give any indication to the offense that he was coming. And he's able to get through that hole and take the ball carrier down for a loss. Now Russ taking off. And he's able to take this for good yardage before sliding and hitting the deck to end the play. Take a look at his eyes. You can see the quarterback clearly going through all of his progressions, and he's quick to realize there's nowhere to go with this ball. He makes the right decision and gets out of there, picks up some good yardage, and gets down on the ground. Wilson now to throw on third down. He's got his tight end. That's fire move. He's going to have the first down, and that one good for nine, and the drive continues offensively landing a lot of body blows on this drive Mike just the ability to steadily march the ball downfield and remain so efficient both run and pass as they continue to wear this defense out they have to find a way to end this drive with points anything short of that would be a bit of a letdown that's brought in right side by Pickens and they're going to move this ball inside the 25 yard line Points have certainly been hard to come by in this one today, Mike, but it seems like this drive has been what they've been searching for. A little bit of rhythm, the ability to sustain. Now they got to finish. Now they got to capitalize on these first downs and go finish with six. He's got it at the seven, and he will get into the end zone. George Pickens. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Mike, we used to have a saying that it was the responsibility of the receiver to run the route through the eyes of the quarterback. And I think this is a great example here. Two guys clearly on the same page. Quarterback expected his target to be in a certain place at a certain time. He's there. Ball's delivered accurately. He's able to pick up the rest with his legs. And that's a big-time connection for the touchdown. So now, with the lead up to five, they're going to go for two and try to extend it out to seven. They'll run straight ahead with Warren. And he gets in for the two-point conversion. And the lead bumps up to seven. Boswell now following the touchdown. Back out to kick this one off. Here's Eckler on the return. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The commander's offense trotting back out for their first involvement of this second half. They trail now 14-7 as they'll come up for first and 10. The drive will begin here with a run by Robinson. And that's the way you want to run it on first down. A gain of seven. Here's second and three to go. From the shotgun, it's Daniel. And they'll whistle him down, but not before he picks up a first down after a gain of seven. Really nice job there to move the chains early in this drive, but now as they approach midfield, continue to keep your foot on the gas. Don't get conservative. Don't start sitting on the ball. Cross midfield and go. 
Anytime you find yourself on your opponent's side of the field, you have to be thinking points. And the woes in the running game continue. They're going to subtract yards there. A loss on the play. Every team makes an emphasis on winning first down. But as a defense, when you're able to take them back for a loss, second and long, you can really become more of a pass-centric defense and really tips the scales into your favor. On second down, it's a run with Robinson. And it's a short pickup to about the 42. There to make the stop, the All-Pro T.J. Watt. Here's a third and ten. Throwing now, Daniels. Taking off, carrying that ball loosely, and it is out. And this is taken in by the defense. The quarterback was on the move, starting to gain some yards, but then he lost the ball. And the fumbles were covered by the defense. And early on, Mike, it was actually a really good job by the quarterback extending that play, getting some positive yards with his legs. But he decided not to slide and give himself up. He takes that hit, loses the ball, and now the defense takes over. George Pickens and the Steelers' offense heading back onto the field. They'll start with great field position right at midfield with a first down. Out of the gun, it's Wilson. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Throughout this entire game, we've really seen this quarterback operate very efficiently. Not only being able to spread the ball to multiple playmakers, Mike, but really complete a high percentage of his passes. So can't let that last incomplete break what's been a really nice rhythm so far. On the ground, this is Harris. And he'll push his way ahead for a gain of two. It was Jeremy Chin that time up to make the stop. They need eight as they come up for third down. Now Wilson. He'll try to run for it. Give him 11 on the scramble and give them a new set of downs. Having a quarterback with this ability to run is such an X factor in today's NFL. It's an element of their offense that you have to be prepared for on every single play. Here we see it on third down. Starts out as a pass. Nowhere to go with the ball. He tucks it, turns into a runner, picks up the first down. So... Three quarters now in the books. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Ball rests at the 37. It's first and 10. On the handoff, it's Harris. And he's going to be stopped in his tracks to lose a couple of yards on that one. At this stage in the fourth quarter, great job by the defense understanding exactly what the offense is trying to do. They're trying to bleed the clock, shorten the game. They completely sold out to stop the run, able to take them down for a loss. Last play went the wrong way. It sets up second and long. It's second down and 12. That's made by Pickens. And this takes him into the red zone. He's brought down inside the 20-yard line. A lot could go wrong anytime you decide to put the ball in the air here late in the fourth quarter as you're trying to run out the clock and protect this lead. But at the same time, I like that they haven't gone super conserved. Just hand off right, hand off left, and it just turns into tackling practice. So I like the balance of making the defense defend everything because right now, possess the ball, protect the ball, and ultimately just run the clock out. And the back judge throws the flag. He looks at the ball, looks at the clock. Clock says zero. That's a delay again. A 
a run with Harris. It'll be stacked up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. Depending on the situation or the down and distance, Mike, the linebackers have different reads. Sometimes they read the offensive lineman. Sometimes they read the running back. In this case, his read brings him right to the play. He's able to make a big stop and keep the game to nothing. Back to throw. Wilson. There's a short one caught by Fryermuth. Not every pass has to be thrown downfield. You can rely on the run after catch, especially a big body like this tight end. Get the ball in his hands early and let him pick up the rest after the catch. This crowd into it now as we get to third down. Now it's Wilson. He's got it at the three. And he's into the end zone. That might be the knockout punch. Calvin Austin. Touchdown, Steelers. Everything you want to do right there, Greg, in the fourth quarter. Get the ball with the lead and extend it to a two-score advantage. Yeah, and I think this just might end up being too much to overcome. You said it. Once you get a two-score lead this late in the fourth quarter, there's just not enough possessions to be had to claw yourself back in it. Chris Boswell on for the point after. It's up and through. And the Steelers will take a 21-7 lead. Boswell now following the touchdown. Back out to kick this one off. Returning is Igbenogany. And he's down at the 23, and that's where the offense will take over. The commander's offense getting things in order as they trot out for this next possession. They trail by two touchdowns, so the time is now. Got to get that rally going. It starts with first and ten. Operating from the gun, it's Daniels. And he can't get away. They rally to the football on defense and bring him down for no gain. I think the days where cornerbacks are either unwilling or unable to be involved in the run game, I think those days are over, Mike. I think when you look around the landscape of today's NFL, yes, you have to cover, but you also have to be able to come up and tackle. Throwing on second down, Daniels. Downfield is caught by Brown. A big play and a much needed one as well. And even 30 yards. And it's the arm talent, Mike. It's on full display. His ability to step up in the pocket, get everything behind that ball, and throw a laser downfield. That's not a throw that all quarterbacks in the NFL are capable of making. And I think it was pretty good defense. Just turned out to be a better throw. Now Daniels throwing on first and ten. Right back to Brown. He's got it again. Well, let's give some credit to the big boys up front in the trenches. They knew that blitz was coming. They held up just long enough that the quarterback could get that ball out safely and results in a completion. An enviable spot to operate from. Here's second and in inches. Daniels going to throw again. Now a deep ball looking for Brown. I can sit up here all day, Mike, and we can talk about the missed throw, but I think a lot of the credit has to go to the pass defense. Not only did they do a good job making it difficult for them to complete the pass, but I think they saved a touchdown along the way. Here's third down and a few inches. Throwing again, Daniel. And on third down, that ball incomplete. 
They're lucky to have avoided this mistake here, Mike. In the fourth quarter, with possessions running out, that would have been a critical back-breaking play in this game. And they're going to have second life now after that defender drops the ball. And let's see if they can take advantage of it. They'll go. It's Robinson. And it's going to be a commander's first down. Quite a call there. They go for it on fourth and inches, and it's a gain of five. This play should always end up converting a fourth down, especially at this distance. But you can't tell me there weren't some nerves on that sideline as they sent that play in to snap it. But fortunately, nothing to worry about. The offense gets it done. And they'll get about four here as he is taken down. Here's a second and six. Working out of the gun, it's Daniels. The ball deflected at least a couple of times, but it'll fall to the ground. It's incomplete. Terry McLaurin, the intended target on that one. And it's going to bring up a third down. They come to the line needing six yards for a first down. On third down, they'll throw with Daniels. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Big time sack there by T.J. Watt, and he certainly picked up right where he led off. Remember last year, Mike, he led the NFL in sacks with 19. He's made a living off making plays in the backfield, and he continues to do so here. So two minutes left to play in the second half. Greg and I back on EA Sports after this. Here we go. This is fourth down. They'll indeed go. It's Daniels. And that is incomplete. They had their chance. They took it there. Look, they're trailing late. Got to let it fly. This will wind up a turnover on down. Steelers offense and Russell Wilson set to take over once more and he has been in control this offense want to run you through some of the action from earlier on you've got the two touchdown passes over 200 passing yards he has been excellent all game long Set to go now on first and ten. This drive begins with a run by Harris. And good blocking up front, paving the way for a gain of eight on the ground. Here's second and two. They'll give it to Harris again. And they get this one across midfield to the 47-yard line. It's a three tight end look as they have it first and ten. Here's Harris. And he'll take this forward only to about the 46-yard line. Here's a second and nine. They'll run the draw with Warren. And good hard running will get him down 
close to a first down. Might be a yard short. Very positive returns on that run. I mean, really, the only thing not to like is that they weren't able to move the chains. But you know what? The way he ran there, I think they go right back to him and see if he has even a bigger carry in him. On third down, here's Harris. It's a gain of 12 there. That's a Steeler first down. This is the moment in the game, Mike, where it really matters to have a run game. You find yourself winning here late. You want to try to run the clock out and finish with the ball. And boy, do they ever. Give credit to this offensive line and running back. They came through when their team needed them the most. Victory formation here as he's down to a knee. So this one, a win for the visiting Steelers. They were the aggressors from the start, able to dictate the pace of play. And in the end, they come away with the victory. So that'll do it for us, for Greg Olson and our terrific team behind the scenes. I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. Follow us on X at EA Madden NFL. So long, everybody.